Most of the time, I work on a single image at any given time, and that includes within Photoshop or in Adobe Camera Raw. I like to focus my attention on a single image at any given moment. But sometimes I might want to work on more than one image at a time, and that's possible in Adobe Camera Raw. This provides a number of benefits. It might just give you some workflow efficiency because you need to process several images, perhaps in completely different ways, but at the same approximate time. But in situations where images were captured under similar conditions, you might actually want to apply almost identical, if not exactly identical, adjustments to both of those images. I'll go ahead and open two images. I have Shells 1 and Shells 2. They were both captured under the exact same conditions. So I'll click the first image and then hold the Control key on Windows or Command key on Macintosh while clicking on the second image in order to select both of them. I'll then go ahead and click the Open button, and that will open both images in Adobe Camera Raw. And as you can see, I have thumbnails for each of the images in a film strip over on the left. So I can switch between these images, for example, by clicking on the thumbnail. If I want to apply adjustments that affect both of these images equally, I can click the Select All button in order to select both of the images. Notice that the image that was selected before I clicked Select All is the currently active image. So that's the one I'm looking at in terms of evaluating my adjustments. I'm going to apply an exaggerated adjustment. I'll just shift the tint toward magenta, and we can see that the thumbnails for both images have been updated. So I'm applying adjustments to both images based on an evaluation of a single image. If I want to fine tune any of the adjustments for one of the images, I can certainly do that as well. I'll bring the tint back to a more appropriate level, and then perhaps I'll increase the contrast, but maybe I want to adjust certain settings for one image more than the other. I'll go ahead and click on the first image, for example, and let's assume that for this one, I want a little bit more clarity. I'll exaggerate the clarity so that we can see the difference in the thumbnail, and notice that the second image does not have that clarity adjustment applied to it. So I can select all and then apply adjustments that affect both images in this case, or all of the images that I opened with Adobe Camera Raw, but then I can also click on an individual image. If I decide that the adjustments I've applied to this image, I want to apply to all of the images that are currently being processed in Adobe Camera Raw, I can do that too. I'll make the adjustment a little bit more dramatic here. I'll just increase saturation so we see an obvious change. And notice that the thumbnail for the first image reflects that adjustment, but the thumbnail for the second image does not, and that's because I applied the adjustment with only one image selected. With this image, the image that I've adjusted, presumably with adjustments I actually want, in this case obviously they're just exaggerated adjustments, I'll go ahead and click the Select All button, and then I'll click Synchronize. This will bring up the Synchronize dialog. I can then pick and choose which particular adjustments I want to apply to all of the selected images. I'll go ahead and leave this set to the default values, which is most of the adjustments being applied. I could certainly turn off any particular adjustments if I wanted to, though. I'll then go ahead and click OK, and you can see that the second image is now updated to reflect those adjustments. And just as we can process multiple images, we can also, of course, save or open multiple images. You'll want to make sure that you first click Select All so that all of the images are selected. And then, for example, you could click Open Images rather than Open Image. You'll notice that the button changes to the plural form since we have multiple images selected. But I could also simply click on one of the images and open only that photo, for example. In this case, I think I'd like to work on all of the images in Photoshop. So I'll click Select All and then Open Images and both of these images will then be processed and opened in Photoshop. So you can see now, for example, that both images have been opened. Of course, these adjustments in Adobe Camera Raw are not in the least what I actually want to do to these images. Those were just exaggerated adjustments so you could better see what's going on. But the point is that both of those images can be processed in a similar manner and then opened in Photoshop. So by taking advantage of the option to open multiple raw captures at once, you can synchronize your adjustments across multiple images or fine tune them individually, but processing more efficiently with multiple images at once.